Hello, it's Daryl with another vlog. How are you guys doing? Um, I want to talk about the middle path, the path of least resistance, otherwise known as the middle way. Um, the middle way goes back uh, for thousands of years. It's an old philosophical uh, notion. Uh, I believe the Greeks started it back uh, in their classical times um, and typified by uh, Plato, Aristotle. The mean is the best way to go through life, not to be too, you know, extreme. Just be more moderate uh, in your behavior and in your wants and desires and you'll have a great life because it seems it's going to be balanced and uh, you know flexible um, this is carried on into you know religious philosophy um, but well, at least in the west I, I believe so in the east too uh, however it's uh, it's a notion that I think that has not been really understood. Understood, uh, I mean by the detrimental effects that being neutral or being conservative, or I don't know, well not conservative, but being uh, neutral, basically sitting on fences a desirable point, a desirable place you want to be. I mean, I don't think that's really, uh, if you really look at it, something that's going to be beneficial to you or your world. Because while you're being neutral and you're letting things go by, you're just sort of like, hey, that's not my, that's not my problem. Or I'll just, you know, stand by and watch and see what happens. I mean, that's a, that's you siding actually by your inaction uh, of, you know, placing your stance with uh, whatever's happening and if there's abuse happening if there's a, <clears throat> a big problem going down and you're sitting being neutral about it I mean uh, you're opening up yourself to some very you know, well, anything. You're opening yourself to anything because you're not going to be able to withstand everything just by being neutral. If you're going to sit on a fence, you're going to fall off the fence when the winds of change come. And um, if you fall off the fence, you might not like where you land. So, I mean, it's, you're not really directing your life or your uh, your world. I mean, you're not standing for anything. You're just sort of like being blasé and being, you know, a watcher. Now I know that because I used to do the same thing. I used to like watch and observe and, you know, check out everything. I did have though, um, I did have a stance though. I mean, uh, it was more like the deep, you know, an underdog thing. Uh, I would always side with the underdog in, in most cases <laughs> because I always felt like I was an underdog. And um, underdogs don't usually just sit on the fence. They're going to be climbing up that hill and, you know, do their will. They're climbing up the hill and they're trying to take on whatever is uh, they see needs to be taken on. And uh, Fence-sitters, I mean, that's not a person that I would want to support or, you know, back because, I mean, they're just, you know, by their inaction, by their neutrality, uh, they're, they're actually becoming part of the problems. <coughs> That's what I have to say about you fence sitters out there. Get on one side or another. Don't sit on the fence. Thanks.